I'll go tally the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. You know what, Jeff? I may be on the bottom, but I'm not ready to go home yet. Oh, my God. Oh. No way. Oh, my God. You didn't know? No. I had no idea. This is my favorite moment. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh my God, I love this. Good job. Yes. This is a hidden immunity oh, item. Any votes cast for Wentworth will not count. I'll read the votes. First vote. Wentworth will not count. Oh, wow. Wentworth will not count. Wentworth will not count. Wentworth will not count. Wentworth will not count. Mm. Funny. Wentworth will not count. Wentworth will not count. Wentworth will not count. Wentworth will not count. Savage. All right, baby. <laughs> Unbelievable. Eighth person voted out the second wow. member yes! of our jury. Savage. It's two that's oh, enough. You need to bring me your torch. That's all. I'm loyal to the people that I'm with, y'all. Yeah. Love you. Savage, chop spoken. Time to go. Good deal, Andrew. You made it to the jury. Oh, right back at you. Well, tonight's tribal centered around when is somebody going to make a big move? Turns out it was tonight. Grab your torches, head back to camp. Good night. All right, so you cannot vote for Eric. Andrea has an idol she may or may not play. Everybody else is fair game. It is time to vote. Sherry, you're up. I think it was the moment that we were bouncing on a doghouse in the ocean for four hours that I realized that you are a huge threat and need to go. You're a 
sneaky, sneaky little girl, always ready to blindside someone. But I don't think you're ready for this one. Huh. I'll go tally the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay, once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Tribal Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Brenda. Andrea. Eddie. One vote, Brenda. One vote, Andrea. One vote, Eddie. Eddie. Two votes, Eddie. Andrea. What? Brenda. We're tied. Two votes, Brenda. Two votes, Eddie. Two votes, Andrea. One vote left. Fourteenth person voted out and the fifth member of our jury. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. Andrea, Charm spoken. Well, you've been talking about a big move for weeks. Tonight, you made one. Question is, now what? Happy Torches, head back to camp. Good night. Unfortunately, I was confident with this plan that I set up that I wasn't even thinking about playing the idol. I should have learned my lesson the first time that when the day's really calm, people are napping and you feel comfortable, you're probably going to get blindsided. And it happened again. But I will always have this beautiful necklace souvenir that will remind me about trusting people too much. Philip, um, I don't have any questions for you because frankly I'm sick of hearing your voice. So I'm going to speak and you're not going to comment. I will if I feel the No, you're not. Yes, I will. I'm doing it now. That's really pathetic. Clay. You, on the other hand, I mean, you sit there only because you rode the coattail of Brian. I really, really, really did overestimate you. You're nothing more than an ignorant, southern, redneck hillbilly. That's right. Sesh, I think you're a liar. I think you're a phony. You said things to me, and you never lived up to them. I think you're spineless. And I hate that smile, and I think if I was you, I'd go to the doctor tomorrow and get that eyes fixed so you stop doing the wink. Mick, day one, they put a leadership necklace around your neck. I go 39 days struggling to find a reason that you deserve that title. You did nothing. You did nothing with your team. You did nothing to encourage them. Nobody on that team had any guts. You're responsible for that. Chase, you were the most paranoid player in this entire game, okay? Whether you care or not. I I, 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 I mean, there's a lot of people bleeding here because of you. A lot of people bleeding here. And you backstabbed everybody. You backstabbed me. You backstabbed Jane. Jane, who was your right-hand person, when it came to you, she was gone. So you really let people down. You let me down tremendously. This is Survivor, Dan. But I'm going to tell you something, mm -hmm. okay? Come. Beauty fades. Dumb is forever. Mick? Wow. Dude, you have got to be kidding me. In a word, would you agree that your overall gameplay could be called... Here it comes. Feckless. Feckless. I would actually have to look up Feckless. I don't know what Feckless is. Well, I think that's a really good idea after this is over. I'm done with you. Just really quick question. Did you know I was going home? Let me tell you Did right you now. Did you know I was going home? 
I'm going to tell you. Did you know I was going home? Yes or no? This is the answer to that question. Yes or no? I was told. Yes or no? There's no explanation. Okay. Did you know I was going home? Yes or no, or I'll move on. No, no. And then you screw yourself. I'm going to. I did not know that you were going home. Okay, that's it. That's all I need to know. Can I tell you one? Brandon, can I just. Thank you, guys. Well, I guess that's all. So we're saying that. I just want to say no hard feelings. No hard feelings, Tom. <laughs> Don't be stupid, stupid. I may have failed for say once. I failed for it twice. Not this time. So, Katie. Oh, you're making this hard with that little grin. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you get my vote tonight, and I need to make this clear, it's not for how you played the game. Because in the challenges, you set out of most of them. At camp, I rarely saw you muster enough energy but to stir coconut. Your self-proclaimed social skills really don't lie anywhere outside of your alliance. The only quality that I actually saw you bring to this game was maybe the value of riding the coattails of people who do play the game. So realize, if I vote for you tonight, it is not for you, but it is against Tom. Twyla, I'll start with you. Congratulations. You achieved what you set out to do. You came into this game saying you would do whatever it took to get to the final two, and that you did. You were a deceptive, lying bitch throughout this game. You never treated me with an ounce of respect. You didn't even speak to me like I deserved your breath. I might envy your position in the final two, but I do not envy your life. Onto dreams. Given that you said specifically your goals are to help kids, explain to me this, riddle me this, dreams. You cheat, you lie, you backstab to succeed. Why would the rats and the snakes be the role models to the kids you and I are trying to help? Explain to me why I would endorse that view of the world. Because this part of the game, this ain't part of the real world. This is it's two separation. This is this game. This game is based on cons, lies, and deceit. The real world, you do that stuff and you end up paying the consequences. All right, fair enough. Well, I would wish you luck, and unlike you, I'm a man of my word, so I don't wish you any luck at all. Thank you. Can't hide from karma forever, my friend. There is one factor, in my opinion, that is the lowest form of standard of play that you can reach. And you two not only mastered it, but relied on it to get to the final two. And that is the fine art of butt kissing and ego stroking. You both did so much of it that I couldn't possibly decide which one of you's got less crap on your lips. Now you may have outwitted us, outplayed us, and outlasted us, but you have not outclassed us. Kelly? The rafting persona queen. You did get stomped on on national TV by a city boy that never swam, let alone been in the woods or jungle or rode a boat in his life. You sucked on that game. Anyways, I was your friend at the beginning of this, really thinking that you were a true friend. I was willing to be sitting there and put you next to me. At that time, you were sweeter than me. I'm not a very openly nice person. I'm just frank, forward, and tell you it the way it is. Have you sit there next to me and me lose $900,000 just to stomp on somebody like this. But as the game went along and the two tribes merged, you lied to me, which showed me what the true person that you are. You're very two-faced and manipulative to get where you are at anywhere in life. That's why you fail all the time. Hmm. Interesting. So at that point of the game, I decided then just to go out with my alliance to my family and just to hold my dignity and values in check and hoping I hadn't lost too many of them and uh, play the game just as long as possible and hang in there as long as possible. But Kelly, go back to a couple times Jeff said to you, what goes around comes around, it's here. You will not get my vote. My vote will go to Richard. And I hope that is the one vote that makes you lose the money. If it's not, so be it. I'll shake your hand and I'll go on from here. 
But if I were to ever pass you along in life again, and you were laying there dying of thirst, I would not give you a drink of water. I would let the vultures take you and do whatever they want with you with no ill regrets. I think I might be the biggest idiot up here. I am truly, to the bottom of my heart, hurt by what you did to me. It was a great move, it really was. But I never in a million years thought that you could do that to me. You put a price on our friendship. You threw us away like garbage. You basically said, you know what? You're not quite worth this much money. And it just hurts, you know? It really does hurt. And how can you say that you're a role model when you're willing to discard a valuable friendship like that? A human being. But I don't want words. No words at all. I don't want to talk to you. Sugar, you are an unemployed, uneducated leech on society. And the only thing I would vote to give you is a handful of antidepressants so that no one else has to be subjected to your constant crying anymore. And maybe if you got some, then it would seem a little more sincere when you are crying about your dead father. You don't deserve the million. We got tree mail saying that there's a little immunity idol about this big in a jungle that's this big. I think it's pretty amazing that Judd told everybody the clue that it's on the ground. And uh, I followed him back here and he's looking at the trees. It's pretty interesting. If it's on the ground, I wonder why he's looking at the trees. There's no doubt in my mind that Judd's lying. I won't be looking on the ground. He's found the immunity idol and wants to use it tonight. Now's the time to bring it up. Good job, I knew it. <laughs> I found the immunity idol, dropped it into my sock. Now a few more people are on the scene. We got Candace's over there. It's getting a little crowded, and I have no idea what to do with this thing. We should be moving home or not. No. But we got three votes. They're going to vote three for me, three for you. If you flip your vote, the three of us vote Cerritos, so and then I play the idol. Cerritos will not end. Jeff, I have something that I was hoping not to use until this team was able to use it against the villains. But evident in camp today was I needed it to save myself. So I like to play the immunity idol. Thank you. The rules of Survivor state that if somebody plays a hidden immunity idol, then any votes cast against them will not count, and the person with the next highest number of votes will be sent home. This is indeed a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Tom will not count. I read the votes. Fourth person voted out of Survivor, heroes versus villains. Sari, need to bring me a torch. The tribe has spoken. Just gonna try and uh, fashion some sort of fake idol. Just gotta make it look semi professional. If I wrap it up in that cloth that I found it in, hide it in the exact same place, that uh, it's worth a shot. I think it'll work, at least for some time. Throw people off the trail a little bit. Hopefully you can do some good or some bad. The rules 
of Survivor state that if a hidden immunity idol is played, then any votes cast against that person do not count, and the person with the next highest number of votes would be voted out. This is not a hidden immunity idol. That means Ozzy has it. Jason found it on Exile. Ozzy has the real one. Sorry I couldn't tell you guys, but... But it was worth a shot. Yeah, oh, come on, that took hours to make. <laughs> Anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Yeah. I guess time to put the idol out of the bag. Um, so I was gonna play this for myself tonight, but idols are more fun when you play them for somebody else. Jacqueline, did you vote for who I told you to vote for? I'm playing this for Jack. Okay. This is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Jacqueline will not count. I'll read the votes. Jacqueline does not count. Jacqueline does not count. Jacqueline does not count. Baylor. That's one vote Baylor, one vote left. Thirteenth person voted out and the seventh member of our jury, Baylor. Need to bring Hello. me your torch. Baylor, the tribe has spoken. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. I ain't finished playing just yet. Keep hope alive. The rules of Survivor state that if someone plays a hidden immunity idol, then any votes cast against that person will not count, and the person with the next highest number of votes will be sent home. This is an idol. Any votes cast against Russell will not count. Kelly. That's one vote, Kelly. Eighth person voted out of Survivor Samoa and the second member of our jury. Kelly, that's three. Tonight, that's enough. You need to bring me your torch. Wow. Trump spoken. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. About that, Jeff. I just want to say, when I told y'all I didn't have it, I didn't have it then. So I didn't lie. But I got it. <laughs> The rules of Survivor state that if anybody plays a hidden immunity idol, any votes cast against them will not count, and the person with the next highest number of votes will be sent home. This is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Amanda do not count. Twelfth person voted out of Survivor and the fifth member of our jury. Alexis, that's two and that is enough. Need to bring me your torch. Travis spoken. We've kind of come up with a desperate plan 
based on the fact that I have the hidden immunity idol and it could change hopefully the whole flow of the game. I'm asking you for both of our sakes to become my ally again. This is the only chance we got. Everyone recognizes that. This is the only way this is gonna work. I thought about it though. I want to go to the final two with you because honestly, I think my chance against you are better than either Becky or Sangha because they haven't made many enemies, right? You have made enemies. Fourth person voted out and the fourth member of our jury. Nate, unless you have the hidden immunity idol, Nate, you need to bring me your torch. Nate, the tribe has spoken. If anybody does have the Hidden Immunity Idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. I think I'm gonna take the target off of my back. No, not this way. You know, Coach, you always say loyal, honesty, and trust is the best thing. No matter how this comes out tonight, I'm going to stick to that. Poverty? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I guess I'm playing it. Such a gentleman. The rules of Survivor state that if a hidden immunity idol is played, then anybody...